This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but, it get, uh, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I don't like that these are based on true stories. Uh, I was one of those people that loves gaming com uh, conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Um, though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going to the uh, inter oh on the interstate drives, uh, but a plane ticket would have been way too expensive. This uh, convention I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I would uh, take the long way to avoid traffic. It was a little t over 12 hour drive, or a little over a 12 hour drive. I would argue this one is scarier than the first one. It might take you a couple tries to complete it. Oh, really? Well, first of all, I can drive. Woo! -hoo! I'm gonna drive so re recklessly. I'm gonna drive so recklessly. I, I can't. I can't read text and drive at the same time. Never mind. I can. Although I should probably make sure to like not die on the way. I like the music. The music's cool. It's like indie music. I physically cannot read the text until I. Oh, I nearly hit somebody. Nearly got into a bit of a car accident there. This is why I don't do driving lessons. Still about six hours away. We're going on a bit of a drive, we are. Now halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Oh, that's not a great start, to be honest. It's not a very great start at all. Woo! -hoo. I like the text noise. Uh, I told you to take that flight. Dad, go away, okay? I didn't take the flight. I was, I was playing cheap. I'm poor, okay? Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach back. Yeah, let's go. All right, how do I fill up my... um? Do I have to go into the gas station first and be like, Hi, I would like to fill up my car, please. Hi. You know, say all you want about nighttime driving, but I feel worse for the people who have to work, like, night shifts. That's way more terrifying. Oh, Holly, question mark? Hello, good sir. Oh, what is wrong with your face? How's your night going? Where are you headed? Um, hello, sir. How uh, can I get ten dollars on pump two? I get to, I get to be the person who's like, can I have ten on pump two? <laughs> you headed to the bridge by yourself? The bridge, the Norwood Valley Road. I mean, not lot, of, not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. Uh, you got it. I'm not joking, ma'am. Be careful. It's not safe out there. Oh. For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say that the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Cool. <laughs> not me. I'm built different. <laughs> and one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Okay. Whatever you do, never ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just didn't. They're Discord moderators. And you know what they say about Discord moderators. Bit of a suspicious white van. Back to it, back to it, on the road. The, it, I, the, the hitchhikers are not to be feared. If anything, the hitchhikers should fear me. They should fear me driving. Go faster, you're going so slow. Speed up, buddy. I'm going to crash into the back of this guy in a minute. I swear to God. That's what I thought. You better speed up. <sighs> I wish I could go faster, to be fair. This car's a little bit slow for me. I need to be zooming down the, zooming down the road. 
Oh, why did the headlights randomly come back? That's creepy as hell. I don't like it. I feel like the headlights are going to turn off. And then I feel like they're going to turn on and something's just going to be in front of the car. I mean, I'm still driving regardless. Something wants to get in front of the car. Be ready. Be ready for me to run you straight over. Yeah. This is quite a long drive. Is it actually going to make me drive playing like the entire way? Like, when are we going to stop? Uh, we're on a bit of a dirt path here. Oh, it's the bridge. It's the bridge that they warned me about. Because they're hitchhikers. Okay. Don't show me a hitchhiker, bro. I'll just keep driving. He told me not to stop. Ever, ever. He was very adamant about me not stopping for the hitchhikers. There's a very weird thing about that night. Oh, I saw two... Oh, I just crashed. The little bit awkward then, isn't it? Little bit awkward, isn't it? Who's, who's put these logs here then? Who's put these logs here? Okay, we get back in the safe car. We get back in the safe car and we drive. You better start up. You better start up right now. What do you mean it won't start back up? What do you mean it won't start back up? Start up. What are you doing? Oh, this is bloody brilliant, isn't it? And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. God damn it. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bull crap that the gas station clerk pulled. But I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest of unease. Uh, I don't mean to sound like this is a cliche horror story, but I, I accidentally got in the car again. Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. From strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. Why is there someone here? I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Oh, no. I've broken down. Somebody please come help. Ten twenty-three p.m. Two hours later. I don't know if it's actually been two hours, but it feels like a long time. I saw a car nearing. Stop, please. Rude. Pure evil, exactly. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Oh, because of the gas station clerk. He tells people not to stop for hitchhikers. I'm now a hitchhiker. I'm the problem. <laughs> 10 43 p.m. 20 minutes later. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. Car, why did you have to go and break down on me? Why did you have to go and break down? <gasps> yes! Yes! Sir, please. I'm strand stranded all alone. Delete a message on accident because I'm shivering. You're the girl from the gas station. Hi, what are you doing, Fred? <sighs> My car's broken down, lad. <laughs> Very cold and wet. I forgot to put the bin out before. Oh, no. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Um, to the nearest stop. Okay. Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't uh, be here for too long. Okay. We're going to throw our stuff in the back, I believe. Which, to be fair, I don't know how much stuff I have. Oh, I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot, a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Wah! Is that it? Or do I need to bring all of it? I'll bring all of it, just in case. You never know. I might need the dog food. Oh, but the skateboard. 
But the skateboard, I don't want to leave the skateboard in the hat either. Oh, oh it's going to make me go back for the bloody skateboarding hat. I said I didn't want to leave it, but I also don't care too much about it. And the more I'm out here, the more worried I'm getting. Like, I don't want to be out here for too long, you know? But it's fine. But it's fine. Because we're going to uh, we're gonna get a lift from this guy. Okay, now can I hop in? What do you mean I can't hop in? What am I forgetting? I picked everything up, didn't I? Is there something that I forgot? I couldn't drive leaving my stuff behind. What am I leaving behind? I'm pretty sure I got everything. I didn't think. Uh, what am I forgetting? Is there something in the car? What am I forgetting? I've literally got everything. I've literally got everything. What does it want from me? What does it want from me? I've got it all. I've got it all. Maybe I need to maybe I need to speak to the actual guy again. Oh. Uh I'm done. Finally, hop in quick. Yippee! I get a I get a ride. I get a ride from the creepy stranger. Oh. Don't look at me like don't look at me like that, lad. Making me uneasy, making me proper uneasy. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, he's talking to me now. So, you want to tell me who you are? Where you're going? I live really close from here. I was driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. What? My name's Jason. Oh, nice to meet you, Jason. I'm not going to tell you my name, because that would be creepy. Anyway, mind if we turn on the radio? You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. I must say, you are one brave woman. Oh? How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery. Are you sure? It's my dad's. It's pretty old. The very old car. And the battery probably went out. And that's how it broke down. And I ended up on the side of the road. And now you came to pick me up, Jason. And that's long story, sh long story short. So what do you think about uh, what he told you back at the gas station? Oh, about the hitchhikers. Yeah, it really creeped me out, to be honest. You know, considering there was two logs in the middle of the road. Idiot tells that to every traveling person down here. Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. Very lovely scenery tonight. Very lovely scenery, isn't it, Jason? Oh, what's what have you got under the dash? Uber Eats. Are you an are you an Uber Eats delivery delivery person? So is it true? What the monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are there are some things, and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but I just remember this. You don't bother them, they won't bother you. Very good advice, Jason. That's very good advice. I wish I could get all my advice from Jason. He seems to know what he's talking about. He seems like a wise person. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Wait, when was he a jerk to me? I don't remember when he was a jerk to me. Well, it's all right, Jason. It's all right. I don't know. I don't remember him being a jerk to me, but if he was, that's completely okay. Because he, he saved me from the middle of the road. 
After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me off at a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there. He said ominously before leaving. Ooh. Oh, bye Jason. Okay. Well then. Um. Hi. Gal need a room to shack up for the night? How much is it for a room? Forty dollars? For a room? Pay cash only. Oh, for God's sake. Probably would have been cheap it, uh, cheaper for the plane ticket, I'll be honest. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. $90 for the car? Tommy will take care of it in the next thing in the morning. Okay. Ugh. Good, I'll let Tommy know. Mm. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take that very nicely. Well, all right then. Uh, room number nine. Room number nine. One. Two. Is it going to wrap around? So maybe nine's like over here somewhere. Number nine's going to be right over here, isn't it? Number eight. Number nine. Nice and warm inside. Good for me. Good for me. Nice and warm. Okay. I should probably go and get my luggage. Because it's, it's kind of on the side of the road at the moment. And I don't entirely trust that. I also forgot to close the door for this guy. I'm incredibly sorry. That was very rude of me. Wait, can I pick it up? You have a great night's sleep. Thanks. Remember you playing as me, bro. Keep me safe. I can't pick up any of my stuff. Do I just leave it? Pause I just leave it? Don't really know. But I'll go and get a good night's rest. Couldn't have slept there? Yeah, where's the mattress? Oh, closet's terrifying. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Why were you in the bathroom? What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing? What are you doing here? I should be asking you that. I'm Tommy Room Service here at Roadway Inn, the first step up. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. And you decided to scare the hell out of me? Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make this room. I'll just get my stuff. Jesus, man. I didn't need that much of a scare. Tommy. I'm paying you $90 to go and get my car. The least you could do is maybe not jump scare me in the middle of the night. Jesus. Oh my god. That scared me so bad. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I'll go get your car for you. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask the front desk. Told you, bro, I'm built different. <laughs> We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been sending, uh, seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> you have a good night. Right, okay, bye. Please don't jump scare me next time. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye now. Oh, let's get a good night's rest. I'm sorry, am I here in the bathroom right now? Oh. Someone was at my window. Someone was at the window, bro. Someone was at the window. Didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee would help me stay up. But I don't want to. I don't want to go outside. You can close and peek through the blinds. Oh, this is a terrible idea. 
This is an awful idea. Why would I want to go and get coffee, bro? I guess I'll go get coffee. Where is coffee? Coffee? Espresso! Cappuccino! French vanilla! I'm gonna go, if I want to stay awake, we're gonna go with espresso, because apparently espresso has a lot of caffeine in, so we'll go in espresso. I think cappuccino is just a little bit weaker. Consume it. Let's stay awake. Ooh. Can't believe you would do this to me. What do you mean? Also, what just happened to my game? Oh, what has happened to my camera? Oh, the controls are inverted and it's throwing me off. You drugged me, brother. Oh, this, I don't feel so good. Oh, I really don't feel so good. I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit wonky. I probably should go to tell the guy that somebody's drugged the coffee machine. Uh, this is why I only drink water and chucky milk. <laughs> oh, I should have gone with the cappuccino. Hello? Oh, he's not even here, bro. And I don't feel so good. I feel really nauseous. Oh, gosh. I feel terrible. Uh, the last time I felt like this is when I had all those edibles. I shouldn't have had that cappuccino. It wasn't even the cappuccino, it was the espresso. Oh, I feel a bit wonky. Ooh. I don't think it's a good idea to sleep either, but I ate too many milk or cake bars. Oh, that was a, that was a feeling, all right. That was a feeling. I don't know if it was a great idea to go to sleep, though. 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. Oh, excuse me? Bring, bring. I thought the phone didn't work. Somebody just got in the closet. I swear I just heard somebody get in the closet. Didn't feel safe going out. Didn't feel safe going out. Lad, somebody just went in the closet. Close the bathroom door. Wait, is that Tom? I think that's Tom, isn't it? Who is it? Joe from the front desk. I didn't specifically tell you to... I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that... Why are your eyes all red? Mentioned the coffee machine. I got drugged. Are you messing? No, I got drugged. <laughs> we don't have no coffee. What do you mean you don't have a coffee machine? Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of your crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one. I hate my job. Joe! Joe! Joe, listen to me. Somebody's in there. Trust me, somebody's in there. Somebody's in there. Joe, check the cupboard. What happened, Shelby? Joe, Joe, don't force me into the bathroom. <laughs> Joe. Let me out of the bathroom. <laughs> Joe, please. <laughs> Stay in there. <laughs> Stay in there, Joe. Stay in there. <laughs> Joe, why are you like... What are you doing, Joe? What the hell, Joseph? What happened? Show me your coffee me Joe, right. If you want to see the coffee machine so bad... I'll take you to the bloody coffee machine. Okay? I'll take you where I got drugged. Joe caked up for real. I'm gonna take you where I got drugged, okay? It was literally over here. I, I bought... I bought an espresso. From the coffee machine. Joe, you have to believe me. 
Joe, you have to believe me. It was right over here. I swear to God, it was right here. Joe. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Joseph. He doesn't believe me. He doesn't believe that I didn't take... I, he doesn't believe that I was drugged. I was trying to tell him that I was drugged. The thing is, somebody's in the closet. Somebody was in the closet. Oh, I'm not having this. I'm being gaslighted. I'm being absolutely gaslighted. It, did they say by the bedside table? Or did they say like in the medicine cabinet or something? I can't remember where they said the medicine was. Where did they say the medicine was? Cabinet? Cabinet. Feel like it's probably not a good idea. Uh, I need water. Water. I need water. I can't believe Joseph didn't believe me. He didn't believe I was drugged. A little bit rude, I'll be honest. Hmm. Hmm. Right. If someone's in my room, I'm going to riot. I'm going to throw a riot. Somebody better not be out here. I'm always watching Wazowski. Oh, I left the blinds open. Oh, I left the blinds open. And I can hear talking outside. Oh, I shouldn't have gone to bed. Is this going to open the door? Hello. Hello. Oh, he's saying hello. Hello. Oh, I don't like it. Who is it? What do you want? I need your help. No. Bugger off. I don't want your help. I know you're in there. Well, yeah, because I just I just answered the door. Leave. Her. I just need to talk to you. I swear. Go away. Pretty. Li oh no. Oh no. Okay. We're gonna hide. We're gonna hide. He's trying to break in. Joseph! Oh my god, Joseph gets to save the day. Joseph, my savior. <gasps> I got so scared. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager ref uh, inferred not... Wait, what? Inferred? The manager inferred not... Oh, inferred not to get police involved as it would affect the motel's reputation and like all the situation i believe that this town could have been home to a cull or a drug ring or possibly something even worse tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year i never went on a long road trip again i would always take airplanes yeah i don't blame you i don't blame there's good old tommy good old tommy bringing our car back oh my gosh